Hey, welcome back guys. This is Beamer Merchant doing another do-it-yourself video. What you are looking at is the active steering pump located behind the wheel well. Oops, on the passenger side, as you can see. In this video, I'll be showing you where all these high pressure lines are, how they're going throughout the car and where they are connecting. At the end of this video, we hope that you're able to troubleshoot um, the active steering a little bit better. Let's start with, I color coded them. The first one is this lower hose I did red. So this hose comes from here along the side of the car. It disconnects from here. I believe this is a 17 uh, wrench. So this hose goes up here, up, down there, underneath the down pipes and it is right there. It comes out here, goes to the front, comes out here. At this point, it splits in two directions. One goes towards the passenger side front. Connects right here and circulates through the cooling system up there. comes out here goes up and it goes up connects to the power steering reservoir tank the other end starts here goes all along up here right here okay comes out through here goes up it loops it loops 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 and then comes down and connects right there to the steering rack. On the second light, we did the yellow. This line goes here, here, comes out here, zigzags here, goes underneath the passenger motor mount bracket, comes out here, goes around, here, here, follow it, you follow it, goes up here, and it goes up right there, and comes down, comes through here, goes all the way around, it's right here, up here it loops, comes down again here, it goes down here, all along here. And see right there? Well, actually, can't right there. It connects to the steering pump. The last two lines, these two lines connect to the uh, hydraulic front sway bar. It's these two lines here. They are connected here. This is where you gotta disconnect them if you want to replace the lines. They go through here and they duck right there. They go in right there and they come out. They come out here, two of them go down here. I and they connect, there's two, they connect to the active sway bar. Where once you remove it, it looks like this. And those lines are threaded in here and here. All right, so we managed to drop the engine. Uh, once we did that, it actually gives you a better, a better view of what we're talking about. These here we mentioned, mentioned this one as well. These are two different lines, one here and one here. And now with the uh, engine removed, you can actually get a better view. So you got this line here. It was hard before to view, but this hydraulic line connects to the active power steering pump. You can actually get access to it through here and you could probably see it back here. That's where this one connects. We talked about also the transmission lines. They come up here, they go up here, connect to the side of the transmission. We also talked about this line here, how it Goes up, comes down, it connects. Oh, 
right there to the uh, steering rack. And we also talked about this. Actually, actually, we're talking about this one right now. And we also talked about this one here. You can get a better look. It goes down the engine and it goes forward. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our website posted below. It is your support. Purchases made on this site that allows us to make these videos. So please support us there. Other than that, thank you for watching. You have an awesome day. You take care.